हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन इंग्लिश क्लास प्रमोटेड बाय डीएसएम कॉलेज परभनी आई होप यू हैव यू आर क्वाइट हेल एंड हेल्दी एंड सपोजली यू मट हैव परचेज द टेक्स्ट बुक्स आल्सो बाय नव इफ नॉट टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट लेसन फ्रॉम सेक्शन वन an astrologer's day today we will learn the first part of the lesson but before going to the lesson we will have a brief introduction to the author of the lesson now the lesson the astrologer's day is written by a well known novelist r k narayan he is an indian author and has written near about 14 novels and short stories you might have heard or you might have seen malgudi days on doordarshan which is a very popular serial you might have also seen the movie the guide which is based on the novel written by R K Narayan Now the speciality of this particular author is that or we may say that the uniqueness of this author is that he writes more about India and Indianness If you read the novels you will see a lot of Indian life being shown or depicted in his stories Now the astrologer's day is one such story where you see an event that happened in the life of the astrologer but before that if you have the textbook before you and if you come to page number 7 first of all let us know what is an astrologer or who is an astrologer for that we should know what is astrology now on page number 7 you will see the study of the movements of planets sun moon and stars in the belief that these movements can have an influence on people's life this is called as astrology so a person you might have seen there are certain people who can predict by looking at the stars the moons and they can tell you something about your life or about your future happenings so this is a story of one such astrologer and what happened one day in his life now if you go around in a town or a city you will see so many kinds of people people selling flowers people selling grocer groceries people selling garments people selling snacks and food or people selling utensils and earthwares you might have seen them on the road side now this one character that we see in the story you might have also seen such a character having a parrot along with him and some unusual things and with those things he tells about the future of the people now if you look at such a person here also we have such a character who was sitting on a road which is, which has which is being flanked by trees and he has certain things along with him for example he has a parrot he has cards he is wearing a turban and he has a beard and he has some dried leaves with something written on it and he is wearing a necklace of beads now this is something the description of the astrologer that the author gives us now all these things they help the astrologer 
to create an impression on the people. विद्यार्थी मित्र हो आशा करतो की तुमची तब्येत अतिशय ठणठणीत असेल आणि तुम्ही निरोगी असाल आणि आनंदी असाल आणि त्याचबरोबर अभ्याससुद्धा करत असाल आज आपण ऑनलाईन अभ्यासक्रमाचा पहिला धडा आणि त्याचा पहिला भाग आपण पाहूया तुमच्या पुस्तकामध्ये असणारा जो पहिला धडा आहे ज्याचं नाव आहे द ॲस्ट्रॉलॉजर्स डे आता या धड्या जाण्याआधी आपण थोडीशी पार्श्वभूमी लेखकाची बघून घेऊया थोडक्यात या धड्याचे जे लेखक आहेत ते आहेत आर के नारायण ज्यांनी की अनेक कादंबऱ्या लिहिलेल्या आहेत आणि त्यांच्या प्रसिद्ध अशी जी जर कादंबरी जर म्हटली तर गाईड ज्याच्यावर चित्रपटसुद्धा झालेला आहे कदाचित तुम्ही दूरदर्शनवर टी व्हीवर मालगुडी डेस नावाची जी धारावाईक आहे ती पाहिली असेल हे धारावाईक किंवा हे याच पुस्तकावर आधारलेला किंवा आर के नारायण यांनी लिहिलेली जी पुस्तकं आहेत त्याच्यावर हे आधारलेलं आहे जर त्यांच्या कादंबऱ्या जर वाचल्या किंवा गोष्टी जर वाचल्या तर तुम्हाला एक गोष्ट लक्षात येईल की त्याच्यामध्ये भारतीय जीवनाचं वर्णन त्या ठिकाणी आहे इथंसुद्धा हा जो धडा आपण पाहणार आहोत अँड ॲस्ट्रॉलॉजर्स डे हा सुद्धा असाच एक धडा आहे ज्याच्यामध्ये आतापर्यंत तुमच्या लक्षात आला असेल कि हा धड़ा एक व्यक्ति का सन्दर्भा है ज्यादा अपन एस्ट्रॉलॉजर मन तो ज्यादा आप भाषे मधे जर मटल तो तुम्हें भविष्य संगा ज्योतिषी अपन भूया बरसदा रस्तक एखाद पोपट घेन तक पान आता ज्यादा कहीं तरी लिहल तो पोपट पान काड़त मग आप भविष्य संगत हाच एक क्या पत्र या गोष्टी में सुधा है आता त्याला लेखक असं म्हणतोय की त्याला खरं पाहता पुढच्या क्षणाला काय होईल हे माहीत नाही किंवा तो स्वत त्या ठिकाणी ग्रह नक्षत्रांविषयी तेवढाच अनभिज्ञ आहे जितका की त्याचे ग्राहक पण तरीसुद्धा तो असं भासवतो की त्याला बरंच काही कळतं त्याला बरंच काही माहीत आहे आणि तो लोकांचं भविष्य सांगू शकतो आणि हेच त्याच्या जो व्यवसाय आहे त्याचं खरं गुपित इथंच आहे तो लोकांच्या ज्या भावना आहेत किंवा लोकांचं जे म्हणणं आहे तो समजून घेतो किंवा नेमकं लोकांच्या ज्या त्या ठिकाणी ज्या समस्या आहेत उदाहरणार्थ सहसा आपण जर पाहिलं तर माणूस हा समस्येने ग्रस्त असतो कधी त्याला आर्थिक चिंता असते किंवा रोजच्या व्यवहारामध्ये काही काम धंदा होत नाही किंवा एखादा विद्यार्थी जर म्हटला तर त्याला परीक्षेमध्ये यश पाहिजे असेल तर अशा समस्यांचं त्या त्या ठिकाणी त्या त्याचं निराकरण करण्याचा त्या ठिकाणी उपाय तो देण्याचा प्रयत्न करतो आणि त्याच्या मोबदल्यामध्ये त्याला काही पैसे मिळत असतात तर इथं असणारा हा जो पात्र आहे तो असंच काही आहे सो वी सी दॅट द कॅरेक्टर हिअर इज समथिंग ही ट्राईज टू बिहेव द द मोस्ट द स्ट्रॉंग पॉईंट ऑफ दिस कॅरेक्टर इज दॅट he knows a lot of things about people or we may say that he is a good psychologist he is good at reading the people he first of all obtains the information from the people he tries to understand the problems he uses his tactics to and tries to predict the future so this man he is sitting along the road and he is not only the character or the only person who is there if you read the textbook you will also see that there are some more people who are sitting on the road side there are some medicine sellers on page number 3 if you see there are some people who are selling hardware and junk there are some magicians and there is a groundnut vendor this is a important character the groundnut vendor who is sitting just beside the astrologer now this uh, groundnut vendor he sells groundnuts but while doing so he shall he is calling and selling those groundnuts he says that his groundnuts are delhi almonds it is a delicacy of the kings and so on now these 
you might have seen people shouting and their shouting creates or it attracts the people here also we see that this particular character he tries to now the people who flock around the groundnut seller they also come to the astrologer and they are attracted by his looks as i have already told you he is wearing those typical clothes and he is having all those things he has a vermilion on his forehead and those those mustache they attract the customers so this is what we see in the first part of the story now now this man the astrologer he doesn't belong to the city he has come from a nearby village now may now why he has you might have seen so many people flying or just shifting to the cities maybe for so many reasons now he's the astrologer says if he had not come to the city he would have carried out his forefathers job of tilling the land ripening the corn field and living in his ancestral home so this man because of certain now what is the reason behind coming to the city we will learn in the next part now before going further echadi ajun ek gosht sangto ki ha jo astrologer ahe ki ma ha jo vyakti ahe to itla rahilela nahi to kutla tari eka jawal cha khedya madun to alela ahe ani itha yeun tya dikani to mulat ka jyotishi nahi tyala kay abhyas nahi tyala grah mi asa sangitle echa adi pan जर का तो आता बरेच जण पाहतात नोकरी व्यवसायाच्या निमित्तानं शहरात जातात आणि असाच पद्धतीनं हा सुद्धा माणूस इथं आलेला आहे आणि तो जर का आला नसता तर त्याच्या त्या ठिकाणी जो पिढीजात जो व्यवसाय आहे कदाचित शेती करत राहिला असता आणि आपल्या वडिलोपार्जित घरामध्ये राहिला असता आता हा झाला या धड्यातला पहिला भाग नाव दिस इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द स्टोरी नाव वॉट हॅपन्स इन द सेकंड पार्ट we will see it in the next lecture but before uh, that uh, if you come to page number 7 there is an exercise uh, in the brainstorming section now as i have already told you what is astrology now similarly the scientific study of the universe and the objects in it including stars planets nebulae and galaxies now this is called as astronomy now this is already given to you now the next three questions you are supposed to do it you have to fill in the blanks one i have already told you now the third one is a prediction of what will happen in the future is called as prophecy p r o p h e c y now the next one scientific discipline that studies mental states and processes and behavior in humans and other animals this is called as psychology okay now this is an exercise that you can do now going further if you turn the page you will see now what the tactics used by the astrologer to earn his wages now every uh, business has a trick or the trick of the trade if we may say now there is a, we may say a web diagram if you see in the blue color if you have the textbook in front of you now what are the tactics employed by the author the tactics are analysis of human troubles this is given to you now the next you can write down perceptions of the customers perceptions of the customers then flattering the customers and then promising good things okay now this is one more in the a2 that you can do it now the next one an astrologer's appearance helps to create an impression on his clients now complete the following now you this we can do it now how was the appearance of the astrologer the first one is given the turban on his head he was wearing a turban okay now the second one the sacred ash and vermilion on the forehead manje ga 
की त्याच्या कपाळावर त्यांनी जे भस्म लावलेलं आहे वर्मॅलिन म्हणजे सिंदूर साध्या शब्दामध्ये समजायचं झालं तर कपाळावर लावलेला जो त्या ठिकाणी जे सिंदूर आहे जो गंध आहे तो त्या ठिकाणी लोकांवर एक वेगळा वेगळी छाप त्या ठिकाणी पाडतं न वॉट इज द नेक्स्ट वन डार्क विस्कर्स विस्कर्स म्हणजे त्याच्या त्या ठिकाणी मिश्या जे आहे त्या ठिकाणी कव्हरिंग द फेस मुस्टाश इन इंग्लिश आणि आणि शेवटचं पहा द लास्ट वन स्पार्कल इन द आय त्याच्या डोळ्यामध्ये एक वेगळी चमक आहे ओके नाव दिस आर दिस इज द एक्सरसाइज दॅट यू कॅन डू ओके नाव इफ यू कम टू पेज नंबर टेन नाव वी विल डू दॅट ऑल्सो फॉर प्रॅक्टिस नाव यू हॅव अ क्वेश्चन ऑन वोकॅबलरी नाव दिस इज अन एक्सरसाइज दॅट यू कॅन डू आय विल जस्ट टेन यू on the, in one column you have words and the second column you have suffix and in the last column you have to make nouns using those suffix by you know in word formation by adding suffix we can make certain words now the first one is done for you that is auction and the word is auctioneer now the second one enchant it becomes enchantment the third one no it becomes knowledge prepare it becomes preparation then proceed it becomes procedure appear it becomes appearance and the last one remark it becomes remarkable so this is one more exercise of making nouns with that we have in the question paper on the vocabulary section now before i close my lecture i would like to tell you one more thing or uh, uh, let us learn some a new thing uh, there is a thing called code mixing in english which is also called code switching now what is this code mixing it's very simple many times it happens that we use so many words of other languages also for example in marathi also we use so many words for example mobile a mobile maza mobile hune now this is code mixing we are mobile is not a marathi word but we are using it so many times it happens that we use such words in our daily our day to day life here also we see in the story you will have so many such words now if you come to page number 11 there is a question find out such words from the story and write them down now what are those words where we find code mixing one example is kauri shells now what is kauri shells it is given uh, let me tell you one more thing while you are reading the textbook or if at all you are reading the textbook the difficult words or the words which are in bold they are given in the columns or on the glossary that is given to you so go on referring to those words so that you will understand what does it mean now what are the examples of code mixing let me tell you one is cowrie shells the second is turban now turban is not an english word so it is used it is an indian word then we have a word like chirut now we that we will come across in the next part when we learn there is no reference to chirut uh, today we have only learned the first part the uh, page number 2 and 3 uh, the next one is jukta a jukta means actually a carriage let me tell you on the and then we have ana jala apan marathi madhe ane mhanto char ane bar ane ane ata ingreji madhe to shabd ana asa jale tya thikani तर आय नाव दीज वर्ड्स आता तुम्हाला परीक्षेमध्ये प्रश्न विचारला जाईल कदाचित फाईंड वर्ड्स फ्रॉम द पॅसेज वेअर ऑर एक्झाम्पल्स ऑफ कोड मिक्सिंग सो आय होप यू हॅव लर्न्ट सर्टन थिंग्स ऑर यू हॅव गॉट अ ब्रीफ आयडिया ऑफ वॉट इज द लेसन अबाउट दॅट इज द ॲस्ट्रॉलॉजर्स डे सो टिल वी मीट इन द next lecture or till i deliver my next lecture to you i hope you will read 
the first two pages and do these exercises. Thank you.